A cyber attack against telecommunications giant Optus has compromised the identities of more than 9 million Australians. The head of Medibank has revealed both current and former policyholders have had private health data compromised by cyber extortionists. Millions of Australians are being warned they could face a higher risk of online scams and identity theft. Remember this? Well, if you don't, here's a recap. I don't know why it's not working. At the end of 2022, Optus and Medibank were both hit by a massive cyber attack. The hacks exposed the customer data of millions of Australians, including passports, driver's licenses, and Medicare details. But some say it also exposed a weakness in Australia's cyber security laws. What Optus and Medibank really showed the government was that unbelievably there was no functional cyber incident response mechanism within the Australian government. So when Optus occurred, um, it had been completely unforeseen by the previous government that a cyber attack of this scale could happen in Australia. You see, as part of Australia's cyber security strategy, the Australian government introduced critical infrastructure law reforms to help protect, well, critical infrastructure. Sectors like food, energy, communications and finance. So think about energy grids, hospitals, transport, retail networks. If these stop working from a cyber attack, essential services in the economy will be greatly impacted. But some definitions like customer data or systems aren't classified as critical infrastructure. And the government reckons if they were, it might give them more power to step in during major data breaches. So that's one reason why the government's now decided to revamp Australia's cyber laws. Strengthening Australia's cyber security is a fundamental priority for our government. So, here's the plan. The government will be setting up a national cyber office. Sort of like a cyber security task force to help keep Australia cyber secure. They also hope to rewrite Australia's cyber security laws, which will give the government more power to intervene during a cyber attack. Here's your coffee. Thanks. And they hope by 2030 that Australia will be the most cyber secure country in the world. Cyber security has become such an important part of our working in a digital economy that we all have skin in this game, whether it's government, whether it's businesses or whether it's individuals, and that's exactly what we hope this strategy will achieve. There are staggering 76,000 cybercrime reports in a year, which was an increase of 30% over the previous year. And that's one cybercrime reported every seven minutes. There are some things that we can do though like changing passwords regularly, not clicking on links from unknown sources, enable multi-factor authentication, and changing important details like ID numbers if you've been affected by a data breach. Now is my password Capybara with a C or with a K? 